Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple XRC Garage, and just to show you guys who like to crawl and video, I want to show you some of the new camera stuff that I'm going to be using for 2020. One of them is my GoPro rig, and uh, this is actually a GoPro handle that folds up, and then you do a slight twist, and then it'll it'll uh, close back up. And then you got a vlogger. Now I'm waiting for a box that goes in here. It's going to be the adapter for the microphone to plug into. Okay, so this is the GoPro adapter, and it goes in there like this, right through like this, and then you push it tightly through, and then on the side here, you're going to plug it in into the type. Okay, so got it plugged in. And on this side here is where your mic microphone will plug will plug in. Here. And if you need to run a power cord or we got a battery backup, you can actually plug it in here as you're recording. So it helps provide um, power to the battery as well as the microphone gets to work as you're charging where you can't do that normally on a regular GoPro hookup and this case here I just got it's by Yulzani I think it was something from eBay very cheap um, it holds the GoPro 7 but this this handle can get really long so you can do that ground shot if you want of your rig or if you just want to do like a do like a long distance vlog if you're talking to multiple people that way you can get them in the microphone as well as in the view so that's going to be uh, some of the stuff that I'm using if you watch my last two videos you will saw that I did a time lapse and I did that with my other GoPro 7 and I used this mount right here which shot straight down to the table currently right now I do have my SCX 10 2 on the table reworking it putting some electronics back in it stuff so anyway so anyway just wanted to go over that with you guys and show you um, some good ideas for that now before I was using knock out my camera I was using this Joby setup here with my phone and I'm still going to use my phone I, I just got it on a different stand now and I'll show you what that looks like here shortly, but we're going to—I'm going to be incorporating that as well as the um, incorporating the phone as well as the GoPros, mostly the GoPros on the outside if I can. Okay, guys. So here's to show you. There's the GoPro Seven facing straight down to the rig that I'll be working on, and uh, so yeah, that's how basically do my time-lapse videos and uh, so yeah so yeah the GoPro works great um, I like that guy shining down on the stands a little bright let me see if I can shut that off so anyway so that's how I'm gonna get the shots straight down that way you guys can see what I'm doing which is awesome and, uh, and one of the reasons I went with the GoPro 7 versus the GoPro 8 is one, um, I was able to get both of these GoPros for about what it would cost to get a one GoPro 8. There's not much difference other than it's got little flip out tag tabs. And I think there's a little bit more stabilization on the new one. Um, don't quote me on that. I've been trying to watch them with the ver one versus the other. <clears throat> my old GoPros were a five, I'm sorry, a four and threes, so I upgraded a lot. And uh, I'm not saying I'm not going to get the eight, I just, uh, you know, got a really good deal with these here. Uh, basically, I did some trades and stuff and I was able to get both of these things for the, if I would have sold the rig, the price I paid. So basically, I did about uh, 350 bucks for both cameras, so pretty cool 
anyway, and then uh, uh, got some other stuff on, with the trades too. So uh, not the mic, but the uh, well, yeah, I did get the mic, but I got it from somebody else. And but the handle that was part of it. So yeah, you know some of the things I've been able to do and stuff, so we can bring good content in. And you know I'm still working on it. I mean, yeah, it's been a couple years, you know, doing this. Uh, at least, well, a couple years doing RCs. I guess it's been a couple years now because, I mean, the the TRX-4 uh, Defender came out in 2017. So, yeah. So, I guess it's been a little bit. So, anyway. So, I just wanted to show you that. I mean, there's so much stuff that you can do. Like I did, um, I made this. So, basically, what I did is uh, took a piece of styrene, mounted one of the clips on here. What this does, I would just use this truck here for instance. If you have your body on, this will fit your body post, so the front, and then that way you can put a camera and drive the truck through the trail and get a different view shot. Uh, one of the other things I did from a while back, um, I took an old sport body and created a camera rig out of it. And uh, can't hold it, of course. Did a camera rig out of it. I'll show you, show you how that works. Let me take this uh, seven off of this stand up here, and basically I'm gonna spin. I got a rotation uh, thing on this. I may have to change it with the shorter one. Yeah, I got to put the shorter one on here, but um, I'm gonna have to change and put one of these on here. One on, and it'll slide. In this holder and clip and you just adjust the camera and what happens is the camera is actually catching a little bit of the hood so you can see the decal and stuff so you know it's a rig going down through there and that's how it'll run and so that's kind of cool if you want to just run a camera rig on the trail because what you can do is you can do what's called a b-roll basically Take the truck, run it through the same trail, come back, switch your body up, put the you or use your other rig, whatever, and then you can run it again. And then that way you can do a shot from above showing the rig going through the trail, and then you can do a ground level rig going through the trail. That's one of the reasons why I had this body, which looks like that one, with the same decals on the hood. That way. If you saw this rig, then you would think it's from the same rig. And uh, so, I love it when stuff falls on camera. What? So anyway, that is just some ideas. Now some guys will just take and glue a, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, one of those mounts on their rig and you can do that it's just that from the past like when we've done that it ends up falling off um or you flip the truck or something that's why i built this cage so the truck rolled over the camera wasn't going to be affected where if you just want to stick a sticky or use this mount you roll it over obviously the camera's going to get dirty but that's how it works so anyway um i think that's everything i can show you as far as that goes um to show you here one of my tripods i use and then i use this extender arm here and this is where the gopro goes on top and this actually can extend real far out too um so that's another item i've got lighting up here that i use to shine straight down i've got this light here, which is bright. And then I got a few lights. So this here will brighten up the stand. And let me uh, put the camera down here so you can see the difference. Get this camera out of the way. So basically, if I turn this off, turn it on, and then there's a Dimmer. You can make it 
little bright. And then there's also different lighting. That's brighter, and then this should be different type of lighting. So whichever looks good in your camera, that that's what you want to use. So that's pretty much how I'm basically getting the view for you guys on camera. And uh, so anyway. Okay guys, so right now you're watching video on the GoPro Hero 7 Black with my uh, Ceramonic uh, directional microphone. And a lot of my videoing that I do is on using my iPhone with the Rode uh, mic on top because a lot of people were telling me my voice wasn't coming through. So that's what it's using and then this, uh, this tripod thing I'm using here, I picked it up at Cardinal Cameras, and it's pretty cool. Um, it extends out, and it also becomes just a handle, and you can walk around like this once these are pushed up. So, pretty cool um, little setup. So I just wanted to show you that, and sometimes I do use my Joby setup, um, again, Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, have fun with RCs.